hello all today i'll discuss how we do, do an orthotic evaluation so which patients do we do an orthotic evaluation we do an orthotic evaluation for patients who are complaining of headache eye strain asthenic symptoms okay difficulty in focusing for distance or near blurring of vision at near and all so all these complaints of the patients comes to you with, while you are checking the patient in a hospital or in your clinic you will refer the patient for an orthotic evaluation before dilating the patient okay so why we need to do the orthotic evaluation to check the activity of the eye muscles okay whether the extraocular muscles are performing well whether the patient is having any kind of vergence anomalies convergence or divergence anomalies or an accommodative anomaly okay so fusional vergence status and all we need to see it so we send the patient for an orthotic evaluation so for orthotic evaluation seat you should check the history of the patient before starting orthotic evaluation you should check the history of the patient properly okay because because while you come to the point like what is the patient's diagnosis so you need to compare with the history okay what is the patient's problem you need to know for that okay so you write all those datas okay and you check okay now let me come to the uh, orthotic evaluation sheet so in orthotics evaluation you should do the sensory anomalies test first not the motor anomalies because in sensory anomalies test you need to check the fourier status of the patient right fourier status is very important for finding out uh, like the ac by a ratio that gives a valued Uh, point while uh, like uh, what kind of disorder the patient is having okay so fourier status means whether the patient is ortho having orthophoria esophoria or exophoria okay so for before checking the fourier status you cannot break the fusion do remember it if you break the fusion if you do an cover test you are breaking the fusion right so if you are doing a cover test before doing the maddox dot test you will get a wrong data okay it will be you it will you will go wrong so you have to do the sensory anomalies test first before doing the motor anomalies test okay so for that what we do we do the watford dot test watford dot test we are finding out whether the patient is having fusion okay or separation or diplopia if the patient is having diplopia so there is no point of have doing an orthotic evaluation uh, because the patient might have squint and all so uh, after doing the or what for dot test we straight uh, we come straight to maddox dot test okay maddox dot test we do it for distance and near maddox dot test we are doing it for distance and near to find out what kind of phoria the patient is having okay whether the patient is having uh, exophoria or esophoria for distance and near both we are checking it so Uh, how do you check it uh, with the maddox rod uh, the you place it in front of one eye and with the other eye you are fixating at the dot light point light and you see whether the red line from the maddox rod is aligning with the dot or not okay so details if you want i will share it later on maddox rod test how you are doing so once you are done with the maddox rod test you are you are almost done because maddox dot test gives you a valuable insight okay about what is the fourier status okay so after doing the maddox dot test you check the near point of convergence of the patient near point of convergence should be checked both subjectively and objectively with the raf ruler so raf ruler there is a dot and line target so you tell the patient to fix it at the dot and tell uh, and report when the line is getting doubled okay slowly slowly you move the target forward to other patients i is and tell the patient when the line is getting doubled while fixing in dot so these you need to check both subjectively and objectively subjectively means with patient's response means when the patient is reporting double uh, line is getting double so that is your subjective npc and when the patient is uh, reporting uh, the so that is your subjective npc okay now objectively when how can you check the npc because uh, you tell the patient to fix it at the dot and slowly slowly move forward you will check when the patient is breaking the fusion bed patient one of the patient i will go out that means the fusion is getting broken okay so when the fusion breaks so that is your objective 
वे ऑफ चेकिंग द नियर पॉइंट ऑफ कन्वर्जन सो बोथ सब्जेक्टिव एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव एन पी सी यू आर गोइंग टू नोट इट डाउन इन योर ऑर्थोटेक शीट ओके वॉन्स यू डन विद द एन पी सी टेस्ट यू चेक द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ एकोमोडेशन विद द रैफ रूलर ओके विद द एन ए टारगेट एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ एकोमोडेशन शुड बी चेक बोथ बैनोकुलरली एंड मोनोकुलरली सो फर्स्ट सस्टेन ब्लर इज द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ योर एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ एकोमोडेशन वेन द पेशेंट रिपोज अ फर्स्ट सस्टेन ब्लर so that's way how you can and you can uh, compare with the hofstadter's formula whether it is getting matched with the age with the of the patient and then you do all the kinds of motor animal tests like the cover test and all okay so cover test you are breaking the fusion motor animal test you will do it for distance and year you do normally we do an alternate cover test for orthotic evaluation okay distance and year you are measuring the fourier status okay but beforehand you are you have already have done the maddox rod test to uh, re, like and noted down the fourier amount of fourier right so this is a thing after you are done with the cover test you do the monocular estimation method that is a dynamic retinoscopy to find out how much lead or lag the patient is having whether the patient is having a correct lag or a higher lag of accommodation is there or a lead of accommodation is there normal lag of accommodation is plus 0.5 to plus 0.75 now you check the negative relative accommodation and positive relative accommodation first you check the nra so nra you check with plus lenses plus 0.25 at a time you place binocularly and say whether the and uh, give the patient the target the patient will report the first suspected blood so nra value you are noting it down binocularly will do it and after you are done with the nra you will come back to zero okay Suppose I have got a NRA value of plus two point five, then slowly, slowly come back to zero. Otherwise, his accommodation is relaxed. Okay, at uh, so once you are done with the NRA, come back to zero, and then you start the PRA test with minus point two five lenses uh, at a time, in both eyes. So once you are done with NRA and PRA, then check the NFB, PFB, uh, negative fusional margins. and positive fusional vergence with the basin and base out prisms of the step vergence method okay so this you will nfb and pfb will check it for distance and near both and then check after checking the nfb pfb you do an accommodative facility test with the flippers so how will you choose the accommodative flipper according to the nra pra value suppose you have got a plus 2.5 nra and minus 2.5 pra so you can take an accommodative flipper of around plus minus 1.5 diopter okay or plus minus 2 diopter and see the patient patient have, can clear the plus and minus lens simultaneously or not okay if the patient is having difficulty in clearing the plus lenses you have to note it down if the patient is having difficulty in clearing the minus lenses you should note it down okay and now you can find out the ac by a ratio you have got the by the heterophoria method it is easier to find out the ac ac by a ratio check it out how you will test it with the uh, heterophoria method so in heterophoria method you need the your uh, maddox rod test distance near values your working distance okay and ipd you need it okay so find it out find out the ac by a ratio and then you slowly come to the diagnosis and then you will manage the case okay according you will compare all the accommodative parameters for stating for finding and if you are finding any uh, discrepancies in that then the patient is having an accommodative anomaly if you are if there is any discrepancies or vergence parameters convergence or divergence problem the patient is having so you will you can come right away to the diagnosis thank you